Hey, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is the February crystal healing video for water signs. So for Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Um, so before we get started, those who are new to my channel, the way I do this vid these videos, I use the crystal was crystal wisdom healing oracle deck, excuse me, to see what crystals are recommended for you for the month of February. Then I'm going to go ahead and pull some tarot cards and see why you need those crystals. Now, when it comes to crystals, I always recommend you buy your crystals in person just because everybody has their own unique frequency as do crystals and whatever you're guided to, um, you'll know. <laughs> you'll be there in person. It's like it's easier to gravitate towards a crystal that is really jiving with your frequency. Now, of course, these crystals are not all inclusive. Um, there are tons of crystals out there that do the same thing for whatever it is you're looking for, okay? The Crystal Bible is a great book. I think there's even a second edition Crystal Bible too, if I'm not mistaken. It ha Those books have an array of crystals. Like it's kind of insane how many crystals are in that book. So either way, if you're not jiving with the actual crystal, that's okay. I always read the descriptions for crystals so that you can decide if it's best for you. If you're resonating with like what I'm saying or with the reading itself, then but you're not really liking the crystal, then go out and find a crystal that does that same thing that you that is, you know, more to your liking. Okay, because like I said, it's all about what you're gravitating towards. Sorry, hair got cotton glasses. Anyway, um, but yeah, that is always why I read these the descriptions of the crystals. Also, these are not for everybody. These are very, very generalized readings. So it is really up to you to decide if this is resonating with you. Okay, because it's not going to resonate for everybody. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to say. Oh, and if you do have, if you do have this deck, but you don't have the crystals, you can always use the cards in lieu of the crystals. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Okay, Cancer. <laughs> Cancers and Scorpios. I feel like I experienced this with you guys in January that there was like a weird pulling going on with Cancer and Scorpio and I'm feeling that again. <laughs> cancer, you might win. You might win this one. Scorpios, just innately. I don't know why I feel the need to say this. Scorpios, I feel like you got some major blockages you got to work through. I don't know why that's coming in so strong. Um... You might feel like you've hit a wall recently or coming into February, you might feel like you're hitting walls unexpected. I just heard unexpected. You're going to have an expe unexpected rut or an unexpected turn of events that puts you into a rut and you're going to have a lot of frustration with that. But at the end of the day, there's just some blockages that you have, I think, created unknowingly that you have to work through. Okay. Cancer, you did win though. So let's go ahead and do cancer. I'm feeling it. Cancer's like not taking no for an answer. Cancer, uh-oh, you're feeling really firm about something in February. Um, you're very commanding. You're very commanding in your energy, Cancers. Shit. It's kind of like, no, you're paying attention to me because I got something to say. Okay, if you got anything going on with Scorpio, I'm curious to see what's going on between you two. Anyway, Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. What crystals are best for my cancers for the month of February? Cancer, you might need to protect yourself. They're showing me obsidian and black tourmaline. They're actually showing me that. You might need to protect your energy in February because you feel like you're worked up about something. It's like you're ready to say something. You're ready to stand up and like and speak on something and you're frustrated. You're doing it out of a lot of passion. You're very motivated, but it's very much like you need to listen to me. Like you need to listen to what I have to say now. Some of you are tired of taking so much shit. What crystals are best for my cancers for the month of February? Poor Pisces. I know you're gonna I can feel my Piscean's like, what about us? Sorry guys, you're probably going last. I'm sorry. Um, it's just whoever's calling my energy the most, and cancers are like undeniable right now. Uh, what crystals are best for my cancers for the month of February? What crystals are best for my cancers for the month of February? Let's see here. Ooh, you guys got flint. Oh, maybe you guys got some blockages here. Uh, flint is a really good stone um, if you're needing to break through into something or break out of a rut. Um, it's also really great if you're trying to like astral travel as well. It's also really good for that. But again, Cancer, it's like you're you're really wanting to feel heard and you're not taking no for an answer. And you, I feel like you're trying to break through to someone that has been giving you shit or someone that you feel like hasn't been listening to you. Or if some of you could be breaking through to a group of people at work or within your family, but that's how it feels. What other crystals are best for my Cancers for the month of February? 
What other crystals are best for my cancers for the month of February? Oh! <laughs> we got some rose quartz going on, Cancer. Okay, Cancers, you're needing to, like, break through to somebody. For sure. For sure. Either you, this person doesn't feel, either you don't feel like this person listens to you, or it's kind of like you're coming in to claim somebody or someone's coming in to claim you, but it feels like a pushing through of a threshold is kind of how that feels. Like very commanding, not taking no for an answer. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> okay, what, what else we got going on here? What other crystals are best for my cancers for the month of February? I'm wondering if you're dealing with Scorpio. Uh, what other crystals? What other crystals are best for my cancers for the month of February? I'm starting to feel a little anger here, Cancer. I don't know if that's you or someone else, but I'm feeling it in your energy field. I'm feeling anger. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. I just heard selenite. Selenite maybe might be good for you. I think that might even be a Cancer stone, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, so let's read these off, and then we'll see why you need these crystals. Flint, portal power. Flint stabilizes energy and cuts through to the core of issues, clearing blockages and loosening ties. It opens portals to other worlds and hidden aspects of yourself. You are a person with profound inner depths. Don't be afraid to explore this hidden side. It contains treasure beyond knowing. Together with attitudinal karma and repressed emotions affecting well-being, Flint connects you to your ancestors. A natural traveler, you know how to negotiate the shamanic underworld to obtain healing insights. Strengthen your boundaries. Cut through confusion to the core of the matter. Soul retrieval is necessary if you left any part of yourself in another life or an abusive childhood experience. An unwelcome visitor from the past can be left behind. <laughs> Jesus. An un Jesus, I'm just that whole statement. An unwelcome visitor from the past can be left behind. Oh boy. But recognize lessons before you move on. Paying attention to energetic boundaries and core strength, cutting detrimental ties and strengthening your connection to the planet maintains well-being. The frequency of the stone is earthy. It's great for the earth star and the root chakra. Great for Scorpios and safely exploring other worlds. Yeah, I just feel like this is you trying to break through. Trying to break through to somebody, get through somebody. And it's funny because Scorpio, I was feeling you guys had blockages on your end or running into some kind of rut uh, created uh, that's going to create blockages for you guys. So I feel like I'm doing Cancer and Scorpio at the same time. It's kind of tripping me out. Okay. Actually, I'm going to get a little sip of coffee. Mm. Okay. Let's do rose quartz. Rose quartz, unconditional love. Rose quartz is full of unconditional love and infinite peace. It draws loving relationships to you, heals past emotional traumas, or provides support during a crisis. You are a beautiful soul who has innate, innate, infinite, I think I need new glasses, guys, <laughs> who has infinite peace deep within and enormous empathy. Relationships are where you learn your soul's lessons. Heal heartbreak or abuse and dissolve toxic emotions and pain that prevent you from giving and receiving love. You have power to love unconditionally and to support others. Forgive yourself. Love and beauty approach. Loneliness is at the end. Emotional blockages dissolve. Do not accept blame. Recognize that unconditional love and friendship draw exactly the right people to you. Once you love yourself, you can give and receive love from others. Support is available in a crisis. Unconditional love is the greatest gift you can give to yourself or another. The frequency of the stone is medium to high, depending on clarity. Uh, great for the heart chakra and for Taurians and Libras and radiating unconditional love. Uh-oh. Cancer, why am I nervous to look into this for you guys? <laughs> I'm nervous here, but let's see. Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of February? And my eye is like itching like crazy. I'm so sorry, guys. Hold on. Oh. I feel like I can hear my mother's voice. Don't rub your eye like that. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right, cancers. Let's keep going. Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of February? Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of February? Okay, maybe there's something actually wrong with my eye. Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of February? Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of February? We do have six of wands. This is victory. Victory and getting attention. <laughs> the attention. Oh my God, Cancer. Listen to me. <laughs> 
I have something I need to say to you. <laughs> Cancer, I love you. It's like, you're very commanding. I can feel it. You're being very, very commanding right now. I feel like you're channeling a lot of Leo energy, actually. You could have Leo in your chart, not necessarily, but if you're a sun Cancer, you probably have some kind of Leo placement going on. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Like demanding attention and being very victorious in whatever it is you want to say or whatever it is you want to break through or who you want to break through to. You're out of cups at the bottom. You're being very victorious about it. Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of February? Oh, <laughs> holy shit. Oh, cancer. Four of wands, Aries energy, and the ten of pentacles. These came out glued together. Virgo energy. Holy shit. Cancer. Cancer. <laughs> I'm a cancer in February. Well, I guess I technically I'm a cancer rising. Anyway, wow. Six of wands with the four of wands and the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, this just says it all. This is victory and commitment or victory in a relationship. It seems like you've been wanting to get someone's attention and you want to commit to somebody. It could be that you're breaking away from, from a connection, but I, I really feel like you're heading to something. Four of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles. This is major stability. This is long-term stability. We're talking decades, okay? Decades of stability, of abundance. I'm also hearing health. You're going to be very happy. You're going to feel very healthy. So a, a, a foundation that's incredibly healthy is exactly what you're breaking into cancer and i feel like you're doing it by getting someone's attention like demanding someone's attention and demanding communication wow why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of february why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of february why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of february uh-oh Seven of Swords in reverse just came out. Okay. So now we have Seven of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy with judgment, fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. You're leaving behind um, anything that's held you back from this before. So with the breaking through to this, because you're literally breaking through to this, no doubt about it. This is what you're going into. This is what you're going to possess. This is what you're going to have. But by making some kind of judgment call or looking within yourself about this kind of an energy, Seven of Swords in reverse, this is old crimes. This could even be self-sabotaging ways or anything in the past that's really inhibited you from getting this. It could be old relationships. It could be the way people have treated you. It could be coping mechanisms that you developed that kept you from victoriously having this. But I kind of want to look at the Seven of Swords in reverse. I usually don't clarify that much with the with these readings because I try to keep them relatively short, but I do want to look at that. Overall energy, we do have the Five of Swords in reverse, which is Aquarian energy. Um, this is no longer putting up with fighting, egotistical, low vibrational ways of being. You're no longer putting up with this energy. Cancer, I feel like a lot of you have been surrounded by this and that's what you're actually breaking away from and this is what you're breaking away to. Some of you might be going from one relationship to another or a dating situation to a relationship. This is relationship status. And especially with Rose Quartz being here, I do feel like it is romance related. It can be work related because it can just be about a foundation, right? Something that's very abundant abundant why was it hard to say abundant but overall you're not putting up with any head games or any mind games you're walking away from anybody who emulates that but god cancer congratulations on this this is beautiful but yeah i kind of want to look at this let's look at the seven of swords in reverse i'm gonna use lenormand deck for this one tell me about the seven of swords in reverse what is this alluding to why do i feel like we're gonna get the snake Ooh, we have the uh, sun with the ace of pentacles. So that's just your opportunity to get this. So your opportunities to get this in the past or up to this point have been blocked or sabotaged. And you're recognizing that. You're recognizing that, which is allowing you to break through. Talk about the seven of swords in reverse. And like I said, this energy can manifest in your life in different ways. It could have been from a person that you were around, or it could have been the many people you've dated. It could have been people from your past, current situations. Could have even been yourself that had created these blockages. So just decide how it resonates for you. Time of the Seven of Swords in reverse. For Cancer, for February, time of Seven of Swords in reverse. Oh, wow. With the ship. The ship is endings. Yeah, I feel like, 
again, it could have manifested in different ways, the many ways I've already listed. I won't reiterate that. But all of that really kept you from your abundance here. Let's see what else we can get out here. Playing with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Uh oh, I see a ring. Oh. Oh my, we have the female with the ring, ace of wands, ace of swords. We have three aces here just in these cards alone. The only one that's missing is the ace of cups, which is interesting. Ace of pence, ace of swords, and ace of wands. Yeah, Cancer, some of you are definitely leaving a relationship. I gotta be honest, some of you are leaving a commitment that was sabotaging you to get to a healthy place, or you were in a commitment that didn't have this, that didn't embody this. It embodied this instead of this. So if that's the case, you're leaving this and you're heading towards that. Um, but I do feel some of you are definitely heading to a commitment with this energy. No doubt about it. For some of you, this is like marriage material or moving in with someone. This could even be a new home for some of you. It could be moving homes, moving situations. Overall energy, we do have the letter communication with the Seven of Swords attached to it. Whatever you're leaving behind, Cancer, whether it was you getting in your own way other people getting in your own way, a relationship getting in your way because it was low vibe and unhealthy. You went within, you saw it for what it was, victoriously, not taking no for an answer, breaking through to this. Congratulations. Okay. All right. So Scorpio, <laughs> let, let's do, let's do you next. I'm, I'm really excited to do Scorpio. I'm not going to lie, especially because you guys had the little tug of war in the beginning. Oh boy. Actually, let me get some water. Where did my water go? Oh, keep moving it. Sorry. I did a video before this. Um, a video I'm a little apprehensive about posting, but my guides are pushing me. My guides are testing me. Uh, and every time they do, I just got to roll with it, right? Okay. What deck do I want to use for Scorpio? Mm, I want to use crystal for Scorpio. Okay. Scorpios, let's see what crystals you guys need for February. What crystals do my Scorpios need for February? What, what crystals do my Scorpios need? Oh, Scorpios. Oh, this is weird. Um, I'm feeling confusion with you, Scorpio. I am. I'm almost feeling like a, how did I get here? <laughs> Like you took a wrong turn somewhere, Scorpio, or like you feel like you've been left in the dark. It does. It feels like it's a little, it feels solemn. It feels a little confused. Um, some of you, this could be your blockages, like not knowing which way to go next or not knowing what's ahead or just feeling like you did what you thought was right and then you took a wrong turn somewhere. Oh, Scorpios. I don't like this energy. What crystals are best for my Scorpios for the month of February? I do also feel a little bit of anger too. I feel like there's some like bitterness or resentment going on with something unexpected romantically. Obviously, it's not for all of you. It's not the core of what's going on with you in February. Mostly, I just feel confusion. So we have, I can't ever say this one, Kambamba? Kambamba. I can't ever pronounce these right. Sorry, guys. Kambamba Jasper. <laughs> Let's see how the crystals want to come out. It just reminds me of like Moldavite, like having a baby with obsidian. Is always what this crystal reminds me of. What other crystals will benefit my Scorpios for the month of February? Yeah, Scorpios, I feel like you're battling a rut in February or you or something unexpected happened that created a rut for you. Like that's how that feels. I don't know if I said that already. That feels very familiar. Maybe I did say that already. Uh, what other crystals are beneficial for my Scorpios for the month of February? Let's see. Ooh, we have Mookite, Jasper, and Halite. Beautiful. If you have like a salt lamb crystal, you should be fine with Halite. Uh, Mookite, Jasper. Yeah, I feel like you have to break into something too. This is interesting. Cancer was like breaking into like, um, how do I say this? Like breaking through to someone. They were like breaking through a threshold. Uh, Scorpios, I feel like you're breaking down a blockage. I feel like you're specifically breaking down a blockage or breaking through a blockage or trying to get clarity to understand why you don't have progression or why you're in a rut in February. 
see what else wants to come out. I feel like you got a lot of pain going on too. I feel a lot of heart chakra stuff with you, Scorpio. <sighs> you're confused, you're in pain, and you're just kind of like, what the fuck? I thought I was doing the right thing. What other crystals do my Scorpios need for February? What other crystals do my Scorpios need for February? Okay, that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and read these off in order. Kimbaba Jasper, ancient echoes. Kimbaba, I don't know why that sounds so weird to me. Kimbaba Jasper attunes your personal biorhythms to the natural cycles of the planet. This crystal also facilitates deep clearing of your karmic body and the ancestral line. When you live in your head rather than the physical world, your cellular structure becomes unstable and your metabolism is thrown off balance. You may not be assimilating oxygen or nutrients as, such as minerals and vitamins. Remember that ideas are nutrients too. Disruption of your, um, oh God. Disruption of your nervous and immune systems may be caused by ancient traumas and family dramas. Uh-oh. Getting in touch with the ancestors and understanding the processes of creation helps you to recognize the value of recycling the past to create a more potent future. Check out what has passed down the ancestral line and utilize homeopathic healing for myism, such as tuberculosis. By changing how you view things, you dramatically improve your well-being. The frequency of the stone is earthy. Uh, this is great for the root, the heart, uh, chakras, and great for... Um, reconnecting to ancient wisdom and the roots of being. Yeah, I just feel like you guys are confused. And I feel like this stone's really going to help with that because, I mean, you just have to change your energy and your perspective. Like, that's what happens when a rut. Like, when you get into a rut, it's easy to stay stuck in the rut because you're in the cycle of a rut, which is just, like, you know, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, right? You just got to break through that by changing your energy. There's also something distracting you. It might just be the fact that you're in a rut is like totally distracting you. Let's go ahead and read Lukite Jasper. Okay. Mukite Jasper, the dream time. Mukite Jasper balances inner and outer experiences. It encourages versatility and openness to new experiences, helping you to choose the right path. A powerful being, you have roots that go far back into the past. What you dreamed, you created. Reap rewards or rectify imbalances. Turn failure into a learning experience and start again. Remember to offer friendship to assist others who tread the same path. Your instinctive wisdom inspires them. Check your diet. Put your skills to use vigorously. Adventurous times lie ahead. Worry not. You are protected against deceit and enemies. Recognize your strengths. Stay positive and pragmatic. Reject unrealistic ideas. Avoid pride and despair. There's that rut. You have stamina. Wait patiently. If two courses of action are open, go for the straightforward one. A professional challenge such as, such as a job interview or presentation is successful. You are what you eat. Good nutrition with wholesome organic foods sustains your well-being. The frequency of the stone's earthy to medium. It's great for the root and the sacral, great for Leos and drawing on ancestral wisdom. So it seems like you got a lot of ancestral stuff going on too, Scorpios. Um, it could be something that's repeating that you're really not seeing your way through or that's really kind of hard to decipher for you because I just feel like you are confused. It seems like even your intuition has kind of been messed with or at least blocked in the month of February. All right, now let's, let's read Halite, the Master Cleanser. Halite draws out impurities from your physical, energetic, and soul bodies. It dissolves old patterns, negative thoughts, and toxic emotions, promoting well uh, promoting emotional well-being. I was about to say human well-being. <laughs> wow. <laughs> promoting emotional well-being. Halite stimulates the meridians and grounds the healing properties of other crystals. Subtle ties and influences may be affecting you more than you recognize. Unacknowledged feelings of abandonment or rejection or emotional neediness may underlie dis-ease. Detrimental energies picked up under the influence of drink or drugs could be affecting you, as could someone else's lustful or jealous feelings. But being spaced out and undergrounded also leaves you open to invasion by external forces, hence the rut energy. It's time for a thorough clear out in your life. Declutter your space, including your car, detoxify your body and mind, and try a juice fast for vitality. Regular detoxing and purification on all levels ensures well-being, as does being anchored on earth. The frequency of the sun is earthy, it's great for the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus, and for purification and spiritual discernment. Yeah, Scorpios, it just seems like you guys are going through a, a period of confusion, of almost kind of feeling a little lost, Scorps, feeling a little lost here. And I know, Scorpios, you usually don't feel that because you're Scorpios. And even if you do feel it, you don't like to admit it. Let's just be real. But you are feeling that, okay? And like I said, some of you, it's a rut. Others, it's like an unexpected turn of events has put you into a rut. 
but you can get out of it. You just have to shift your energy. And it seems like all three of these are also recommending doing some kind of physical cleansing. Okay. Not just like spiritual, like physical, like, like I said, like juicing or fasting or something of that nature. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's see what's going on, Scorpios. Oh my God. My eye is like making me nuts. I have to see what's up with it after this video. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of February? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of February? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of February? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of February? Scorpios need these crystals for the month of February. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of February? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of February? We have the Hermit Virgo energy. So definitely being a little bit in a rut, but this is also an active rut, right? This is like trying to figure shit out. Like, why do I feel this way? I want progression. I want this. I want that. And I feel like I'm at a standstill. I feel like it's not happening. Why is it not happening? It does feel a little solemn, Scorpio. It feels a little sad. I got to be honest. I feel some sadness there. It might even be a little depression for some of you guys. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of February? see here oh the star in reverse aquarian energy which could indicate depression like i said and then we have king of wands leo energy could also be fire or air oh scorpio i think you've lost faith in somebody with the hermit the star in reverse and the king of wands that's how it's feeling like losing faith in a king of wands energy king of wands is usually somebody who's like the life of the party someone who gets up and goes someone who's also a leader starts a lot of shit very charismatic energy, but this is losing faith in them. Something unexpected might have happened with this individual in your life, Scorpio, and it's left you in a little bit of a rut. Like, I don't know what to do now. This was supposed to happen and it didn't happen. <laughs> right? Yeah, Scorps. Why else do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of February? Nine of Cups, Piscean Energy. This is where you want to be. You want to be happy. You want to be content. You want to be really solid on your own. Um, happily independent is how I like to call this card. Happily independent. The, the nine of cups, excuse me, is also the minor to the major star. But we have the star in reverse here. So it's almost like you've had this idea of what was going to make you happy or some kind of dream of yours. I almost wanted to say fantasy, but that didn't feel quite right. But whatever it is that you've been dreaming up, you have this bit of like hopelessness about it. Like it's not really going to happen. It's what I want, but I don't think it's actually going to happen. So you're trying to find happiness away from that idea of what was going to make you happy. Almost like trying to rewrite your dream. I got to be honest, this depressive energy is getting a little stronger. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see. What, why else do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of February? Oh, crap. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we just... We had a shit ton of cards just come out. Wow. Let's see what we have here. Okay, interesting. Really interesting. Okay, Scorpio. So now we have Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy with the Devil in reverse, Capricorn energy, and the Six of Cups, more uh, Scorpionic energy here. So... Scorpios, this is a really interesting energy because Five of Pentacles with the Devil in Reverse, I mean, that's basically like not being chained down by anything anymore, not feeling um, oppressed by anything anymore, not being oppressed by the past. But Five of Pentacles, this is feeling not so good about it. So this is a great thing that's happening, un literally unchaining yourself from the past and anything that was holding you back, which was, I think, some of the blockages that I was feeling with you guys. But the Five of Pentacles being not happy about it, like at all. Or not feeling like you've had some kind of benefit from that. It actually just feels sad. This feels like depression to me. I just got to be honest, guys. It does feel like depression. It almost feels like in releasing your past, 
you're feeling like you've lost something. You're feeling you're feeling alone. That's what it is. You're feeling alone, Scorpio. You're feeling alone. Um, now we have the Six of Wands, Jupiter, Leo energy with the Knight of Cups, Piscean energy could also be water or fire with the Lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. This is someone victoriously walking away from a connection. So Scorpio, it seems like you're finally walking away from somebody here. You're letting go of somebody, a King of Wands energy that you were hopeful for for a while. You no longer have hope about it. You've really disconnected yourself from this person or the idea of this person, um, trying to find that independent happiness on your own, but you still feel really alone even with releasing this person. And you're victoriously letting go of a connection that doesn't really seem to be very present in your life anyway, but it's still leaving you feeling a little alone. It's a little hard. I gotta be honest, Scorps. This feels a little rough. Feels a little dark, even for a Scorpio. I think it's to your benefit. I think it's definitely to your benefit because you are chasing this energy, which isn't a bad energy to chase. This is a really good place to be, right? But there's this person or energy from your past that it just seems like you haven't been able to 100% energetically let go of. Even if you're like, I don't really want them anymore. Deep down, there's something within you that was still connecting to this person. You're letting go of that. You're letting go of that. It was holding you back in some way. It was keeping you chained or oppressed in some way. And you're victoriously doing it, even if it makes you kind of sad and lonely to do it. But you're eventually going to get this and you're going to be okay. Overall energy, we do have the Queen of Cups. Oh, wow. Yeah. With the with the Page of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah. And Justice in Reverse. Oh, Scorpios. Scorpios. These two energies together. This is your energy. The Queen of Cups with the Page of Swords. This is something you've been keeping close to your heart. And for some of you, you've been keeping a secret from other people of how you've been energetically attached to this person still or holding on to this person with that Four of Pentacles energy. Um, you were doing yourself a disservice by holding on to this person. This person might have also not done something so kosher to you in the past and you've been holding on to it. With that Page of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, you've been analyzing that. In February, you're analyzing this and you're realizing, I gotta let this shit go. Even underneath that, look, we got the Nine of Swords in reverse. Scorpio, it's not worth it. It's not worth it to do this to your energy. It's just not. Remember, you will eventually have this. It's gonna feel shitty to let this person go, though. I'm not gonna lie. It's like, it's just gonna feel like a shitty process. It's a, it's a good thing to do. It's a healthy thing to do, even if you feel lonely when you're doing it. But it's important that you do it. Okay, I know Scorpios, I know, damn, that is a rut, that is a little bit of a rut, but you will get out of it, you're gonna have that nine of cups, you're gonna be okay, all right, Pisces, because <laughs> I say that somewhat lightheartedly, Pisces, uh, what deck do I want to use for you guys, mm, what do we have, I don't really want to use Gilded, I don't really want to use Cosmic for Pisces, I want to use a fun one for you guys or some kind of like atypical one. Mm, yeah, we'll do steampunk. We'll do steampunk for Pisces. Okay. Pisces, let's see what's going on for you in February. I just heard clearing. Okay. Oh, cutting and clearing. Okay, Pisces. <laughs> okay, Pisces. It's so weird. I feel like Cancer and Scorpio were like the loud ones in the room and Pisces is just like, I'll wait for my turn. <laughs> Okay, Pisces. What crystals will benefit my Pisces for the month of February? What crystals will benefit my Pisceans for the month of February? What crystals will benefit my Pisceans for the month of February? Where are we at? Oh, we're good. We're at 33 minutes. What crystals will benefit my Pisceans for the month of February? Yeah, they're saying cutting, cutting specifically. I'm oh, oh, that's weird. I just saw sewing. Some of you guys might be getting into sewing. Are you patching yourself up? <laughs> no, some of you guys are actually just getting into sewing. That's really interesting. Um, also, you guys are getting to a big like creative mode. Keep in mind, oh yeah, happy birthday, Pisces. I'm so sorry. Happy birthday to my February Pisceans. Uh, I was gonna say it's also coming into your season in the in the last half of February. Uh, Tropic, of course. Yeah, you guys are getting into major creative mode here, which is kind of cool. I like seeing that. What crystals will benefit my Pisceans for the month of February? What 
What crystals would benefit my Pisceans for the month of February? Keep in mind, guys, Mercury is retrograding through February. Got a lot of that energy. Pre-shadow starts on the 1st, and then it goes full on um, retro on the 16th when Mars moves into Capricorn. We'll be doing a big energy shift reading for that day. It's like, give me something. All right, there we go. Ooh, Garnet. Pisces. Okay, okay. I see you, Pisces. Uh, Garnet always reminds me of a lot of sexual energy. Could also be a lot of creative energy because both come from the sacral, right? I do feel like it's more about creation. Yeah, I'm hearing cleansing, though. Cleansing, clearing, purifying, cutting. And, you know, you have to do that in order to create, right? It's like to create something, you have to, like, make space for it or destroy something in the process in order to create something. What other crystals? Ooh, and then you got amethyst. Oh, actually, that'd be really pretty together on a bracelet. I just realized with garnet and amethyst. Amethyst is also a purifying crystal. It's also great for protection. It also brings in uh, loving, harmonious energies as well. You guys, Pisces, you might have a little affair coming up in February. I'm just being honest here. And have a little bit of an affair or some kind of flirty fun thing going on. What other crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of February? What other crystals do my Pisceans need? Let's see. Oh, now we have Appetite. Gorgeous. Okay, so let's go ahead and read these off. See why you need these crystals. Okay. Garnet. Passion. Garnet is a rejuvenating stone believed to protect against evil and terrifying dreams and to attract love. You are a passionate soul with a courageous heart. Be confident and constant. Let go of your inner demons, taboos, inhibitions, and fantasies. Recognize self-sabotage and expand your awareness into all that you can be. Virtue matters to you. You are capable of great devotion to a cause or relationship and have a strong survival instinct. Take action now. A, mis a mystery is solved. <laughs> A mystery is solved. Have courage. There is a way out. Turn a crisis into a learning challenge. If danger approaches, stay calm. You are protected. Be emotionally honest with yourself and others. You may attract a partner for sexual healing. Make no long-term commitment and it may, as it may fizzle out once, it, once the purpose is fulfilled. Finding an appropriate outlet for your passions and emotions creates well-being. The frequency of the stone is medium, great for the root and the sacral and the heart, and great for Leos, Virgos, Cappies, and Aquas, and expressing your soul's passion. Yeah, you guys might have a little bit of a quick little affair. Have fun. Have fun. Enjoy that. It is one of the fun things about being human, after all. Amethyst, inner peace, a powerful protector, purifier. <coughs> Excuse me. Purifier and natural tranquilizer, amethyst calms the mind and balances extremes. You have an addictive personality. Make a concerted effort to overcome such behavior or obsessions of any kind and avoid overindulgence. Balance work and play. You are prone to excess in both. Understanding hidden causes of compulsive actions brings peace. Hand your will over to your soul and allow your spirituality to flourish. Release self-defeating programs. Do not rely on others. You create anything you set your mind to. Be shrewd in business dealings. Pay attention to your family. An honest verdict and success in a court case are possible. Maintain your integrity and let the universe decide. Let go of cravings. <laughs> that leads to inner freedom and creates well-being. The frequency of the stone is high to exceptionally high. Great for the third eye and the crown. Great for aquas and Pisceans. And for developing unshakable inner peace. You know, Pisces, I feel like you're just on the path of major creation. Honestly, major, major creation. You might be meeting a lot of people who could aid that process and maybe inspire you sexually and then creatively. Um, but honestly, it just seems like moving forward and keep creating and not letting anyone or anything stop you and only allowing energies that will nurture you. And the second it doesn't, just like cutting it and getting rid of it. Like that's what I'm feeling for you guys for February. All right, now let's do appetites acceptance. Appetite works at the interface between consciousness and matter to let go of what is outworn in your life. Clear away confusion or guilt. Accept the truth about yourself. You are a complex being with credits and deficits. Recognize these without judgment. Move away from aloofness or social alienation and show others who you truly are. 
Uh, user perspicacity. You have much to offer by way of service as you access insights for the collective good. Be inspired, discern truth within, recognize what is real in your world and restructure your reality. Don't be deceived by false fronts. See what is beneath. Develop your metaphysical perception. Things improve steadily. Understand that circumstances are merely learning opportunities. It is time to be of service to others and teach what you know. Your intuition knows what's best for you. The frequency of the stone is high. Great for the third eye and the root. Great for Gemini's and for discerning the truth within. Ooh, Pisces. You know, this feels like you're being a powerhouse in February. I gotta be honest with these three. You're gonna be quite the powerhouse and just to not be swayed by others. And I don't think you will. Honestly, I don't think you're gonna be very swayed by others. I feel like you're kind of like, not telling people off, but just being very like, thanks for your opinion. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thank you for the opinion. I don't really need it. Okay. Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of February? Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of February? You've never been so sure of yourself is what I just heard. You've never been so sure of yourself. Very different from Cancer and Scorpio. <laughs> Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for February? Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for February? Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for February? Let's see here. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. You're getting a little restless here. You're tired You're tired of thinking things to death is also what I'm getting. You're tired of thinking things to death. You're just ready to go. You're ready to put shit into AI. Yeah, you're ready to put shit into action. You're, you're like, I don't have to wait on anything or anyone anymore. I know what I want and I know what I, and I know how to do it. I know what I want. I know how to do it. I'm just going to go. Why do my Pisces need these crystals for February? Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for February? Four swords in reverse, Libra energy. Yeah, it's like you're you're too antsy and eager to break out. You know what you want. You know what you want. You're tired of evaluating it. You're tired of being MIA. You've been kind of withdrawn a little bit, Pisces, for the last like month or so, and you don't need to be anymore. You don't need to be anymore. The hourglass is sticking out to me. You know, sand is interesting. Sand alludes to time and destiny as well. It's really just time for the next step and you just know it. Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of February? All right, so we have three more cards come out. This card doesn't want to flip over. Wow. We got major, all three major arcana here. Uh, moon in reverse, Piscean energy. Could also be Camp Searing from Isa Reader. Judgment in reverse, fire energy. Also Scorpionic energy from Isa Reader. And... Now we have justice. When we get justice and judgment together, I mean, that is like a handout of karmic balancing, a dishing out of that shit. And with the moon in reverse, this is revealing that. Someone could have a moon in Libra, a moon in Scorpio placement with this, with these energies, with these cards out here, just pointing that out. Not necessarily, but justice is here. And part of your justice is no longer sitting by the sidelines, no longer holding yourself back, no longer needing to think things to death. It's time to really break your silence, break away from being MIA, break out of hermit mode a little bit, break out of evaluation mode, break out of stagnancy because it's ready to go. You're ready to go. You're ready to move. You're ready to push into action. And it's almost like you're handing out your own justice. You're handing out your own justice by doing this. Overall energy, we do have the Page of Pentacles in reverse, which I think is interesting because underneath that we do have the Ace of Cups and we got the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. I feel like you're just really loving on yourself. You're very independent here. Whatever moves you're making, you're doing it on your own. It doesn't seem like you have a helping hand, especially with Page of Pentacles in reverse. It doesn't seem like you are accepting help. Um, how do I say this? You're not accepting help from just anyone who's willing to help you. You're being very careful in who you uh, get help from. Yeah, you're putting yourself first. You're putting yourself first here. There, I think there are a lot of people who want to help you, Pisces. I almost called you Scorpio. 
And you're going to accept help cautiously, but there are people who are kind of out for themselves and you know that. And your your discernment is a lot better about who those people are. And you know your strategy, you know the moves, you just gotta go and put that shit into action. I'm also getting romantically something has ended, significant, significant, with judgment, reverse, and justice. Something has ended that's been significant in your life, but that's exactly what needed to happen. And in a way, it's almost freed you for some of you. It's freed you to be this independent person who has so much fucking love for themselves um, and so much self-respect that you're not going to put up with any energies like this anymore that were like that. I feel like you were dealing with someone who was a little uh, immature regardless of their age they were very yeah not just a little they were very they were very immature this can also be an energy of someone who's very careless they could have been very careless as well someone who never looked closely at what was really going on between you didn't care to i just heard didn't care to anyway that's just for those who need to hear it but pisces this is beautiful energy Beautiful energy. Whatever it is you're going to, it looks damn gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So I hope you guys found that insightful and helpful. Don't forget to check out um Patreon and Vimeo and Instagram. I was like, where am I again? Oh yeah, duh. Patreon, Vimeo, and Instagram. And I will see you guys later. Okay. Have a great night and a great month. Namaste.